Uh, good afternoon, Thomas. How are you? I'm great. I should say I said good afternoon. It's really yeah. nice. But anyway, anyway, that's that's, uh, uh, that's why I kind of laughed a little bit. We're we're creeping up on uh, three a.m. You know, uh, Krungus might show up. <laughs> <laughs> we might have the witching hour upon us uh, yeah. for sure. Like this is uh, Mike uh, and Thomas with the first the last of the mm -hmm. nerddom. This is our weekly grab mm -hmm. bag. We've been kind of off our normal uh, out of cycle pattern. Um, that's due to that's uh, that's on me. But in any case, we are back and, in the seat. And me, <laughs> it just gets in good. the way. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. But we're gonna reach uh, in the grab bag and pull out our goodies and and talk about. Well, we got a lot of cover. Um, um, and mm -hmm. it seems like this has been um, a good time of the year for new announcements. Um, those ones are always good. Um, mm -hmm. and we had a lot with our, our big mega grab bag or whatever the hell we called it uh, for E3 or not E3, the uh, whatever the hell, what Comic-Con. Good God. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I'm a little, little tired. But anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, so this week uh, we're going to go through a bunch of news items um, and we have our recommendations re uh, on the on the back end uh, toward the end of the show. But firstly, um, you know, uh, what, what's going on with this? What's going on with this uh, 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 First Nation battle royale with uh, the Ultimate Warrior and, and uh, or the Ultimate Warrior sister and uh, um, uh, Predator? <laughs> what is this thing going? This well, thing you, know, uh, you know, I'm a, a history buff, and this um, kind of documents a uh, thing from the uh, <laughs> from way back in the the past, a historical battle between. Uh, the Indian Nation and uh, the space alien that we space we uh, know better as a predator. Um, mm. Yeah, uh, very, very historically accurate, I, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, yeah, if, yeah. if if uh, if you got your historical education from Assassin's Creed Three, um, <laughs> which uh, actually, uh, oddly enough, uh, I got. <laughs> When uh, uh, our uh, main character, she was hopping around, bouncing from tree to tree. I got very <laughs> did uh, some Assassin's Creed three vibes going. <laughs> I didn't think of that. That's true. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of middle schoolers out there who are adults now who uh, definitely did get their uh, uh, their uh, history education from uh, uh, Assassin's Creed or, or ten. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, so yeah, so this is Prey, uh, all joking aside, this is the, the, the mm -hmm. newest installment for the Predator franchise. Um, and, and it was um solely on Hulu, uh, came out August 5th, mm -hmm. uh, last Friday. Um, this this week we're mm -hmm. we're into the uh, well into August here. Um, and 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 you did see we we were gonna we kind of debated about uh, should we cover this for our main show or not, and I think. I kind of waved it off, um, and and not not because, but I just I felt like we were too close to having done Predator, um, mm -hmm. and I'll eat a little crow here because I I was kind of down on it a little bit. Uh, I was very yeah, you skeptical. Are. You were you were yeah. negative, Nancy. Yeah. I was. I absolutely yeah. was. I I just I couldn't take the. Uh, um, I think I'll try to look for it here in the thing. But yeah, this is this was the. Uh, all zoom and enhance, um, but this was like the uh, the shot that I focused on that I screenshotted from the trailer from a couple months ago, and I was complaining that like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, with the lip gloss, yeah, okay, uh, we'll, we'll see what that looks like. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. Um, Ollie Crow here, uh, it was a, it, there was nothing wrong with it. There, there was, um, well, and we can get into like where it falls on our scale of Predator movies, because that's a, a, a fun thing. Um, but there, it seems like there were two camps to this. I wouldn't say that it was absolutely black or white. I don't think it was like that at all. I, I did think that was like a smaller group of folks. Uh, and we both watched the same red letter media kind of take out of this. Mm -hmm. uh, we form our own opinions. But anyway, enough of me with my expedition and, and, and uh, horse crap. Well, how did you take it? What did you think? Okay. Oh, and also just to... Uh give a little history on the movie that takes place 1700s uh with the mm -hmm. in the the um great plains and uh our protagonist is a young indian female uh who, who wants um i guess native american would be the more peaceful way of saying it uh but she uh she she doesn't want to 
stay home and like uh, Red Bear Media says, make sandwiches for the men. She wants to go out and be a warrior. And uh, with her, uh, her struggles with uh, her tribe to uh, prove herself as a warrior, a uh, predator shows up and enters the mix. And uh, for a while there, she's the only one that believes there's something out there and uh, has to struggle with her tribe to um, prove to them what's uh, what's actually going on. Right. right. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like the little sister, little kid sister, kind of, kind of, kind of vibe, and big brother, and and everybody else has cooler things, and I want to be part of it too. Uh, that kind of, kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying yep. that at all in a, in a pejorative way at all. Mm-hmm. It's just like that is exactly how how it is mm-hmm. it, it is put to you. Um, mm-hmm. and yeah, she's and, just uh, yeah. almost there, but not quite ready for the thing. Right. And then that's kind of where we start uh, start start the story. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, anytime you have a uh, female uh, lead pra- protagonist in an action movie these days, you immediately uh, have to come face to face with all the people crying that it's woke, that it's uh, <laughs> that it's uh, uh, she's a Mary Sue. There's uh, this and that, and uh, <laughs> I I always take movies, no matter what it is, I take it as a movie first and uh let let story and then like we always said it's always story and character story and mm-hmm. character that's that's the main thing and uh we, we can worry about the uh, woke stuff if it if it if it beats you over the head which um luckily in this movie uh i think for both of us we we don't think that that's the case on this one no um, no it, w- it wasn't even it wasn't even near any of that uh in any of that uh that stuff and and, and i'm as guilty as anybody you know to kind of uh I, 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 uh you know you, you get in on the mm-hmm. thing and and some some mm-hmm. of these things are very well deserved for um mm-hmm. the message or woke mm-hmm. or something like that this was yeah. not one of them like it was yep. just a straight up Take it as it is. Straight up action mm-hmm. movie mm-hmm. made perfect sense uh, along the lines. I mean, come on. Uh, uh, let's be honest here. It's it's a freaking space monster coming down in the 1700s, um, just just mm-hmm. tearing everything up. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah. And my uh, my my big comment on it is it's a big comic book movie. Uh, comic book in the sense not not in the Marvel MCU no. uh, sense of the word. It's it's more like um, it's it's a it's a all action and um it's over the top action uh which creates over the top action for the stars Uh, so as um as in the red original predator movie these uh, these characters the male characters were doing superhuman things you could why why not expect that the uh the female character in this can uh do maybe a bit more than the average woman can do um that's uh that kind of goes without saying you kind of have to uh leave uh, some of your disbelief at the door uh, with an action movie um right. and you you can't <laughs> can't always and then uh in the as far as her being a, a mary sue and a little plug for later there's a if you're not sure what a mary sue is i have a recommendation for you later on in uh, the show so stay tuned for that um yeah but but kind of roughly a mary sue is like a a female or male male character that can uh that does no wrong everybody loves and um goes goes through the story and can fix anything and has no real um adversity uh face to the character um and that that does not apply to the character at all at all her whole tribe is kind of trying to tell her to settle down and right. be the healer here that that she should be uh and um and then the, no spoilers but there's a, at times she does face adversity she doesn't always do the the right thing like uh she she, get, she gets her ass kicked uh, yeah repeatedly. yeah <laughs> Yeah, very much so, and uh, that was uh, one of the surprising things. Um, there's a lot of things mm-hmm. that kind of surprised me in the movie. I, I didn't watch any trailers to it, uh, so there wasn't really much spoiled for me as going into it. Um, so, so the 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 lot of the, lot of the story it wasn't it, it it went in twists and turns that I didn't expect uh, that I enjoyed, and then um, the whole relationship between her brother was 
more complex than I, I thought it would be. She, mm-hmm. you know, at awesome. first I thought, I thought, I thought it would be just, uh, them kind of going at each other and that was it. But the, the, the whole relationship kind of grows and changes over time, uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the movie. And, uh, I, I really enjoy in that, that guy that, uh, played her brother, uh, I think this is his first role and he did a, a really great job of it. Um, but yeah, yeah the uh, mm-hmm. yeah, and, what was his name? <clears throat> Dakota Beavers. Dakota Beavers. Um, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, one of the things I, I got, thought was kind of funny um, was the the whole <laughs> the male male members of the tribe. Uh, <laughs> I uh, obviously uh, I was ma- joking about historical accuracy uh, earlier in the show, but um the 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 the, the guys in it they, they were very much uh um kind of uh today's kind of bro you know <laughs> it's like hey oh, yo yeah. <laughs> kind of they have that kind of sense to them which uh again comic book movie it makes sense <laughs> you're yeah. not gonna <clears throat> they they did the they did the pacing right they did the action right they did the uh the thing i'm not going to comment on the cg i could care less uh, it was good enough for me to fall into the story and not worry about mm-hmm. it it wasn't jarring yeah. or anything like that and um how would yeah, you say it's uh it's a it's not a theatrical movie it's a direct to hulu so you know yeah. you, you gotta kind of adjust your uh <laughs> your your budget eyes that way <laughs> expectations yeah. a, little, a little bit yeah, not, and, not not for quality but just for like it, it, it's not um we're so spoiled by by the marvel the latest marvel 300 million dollar mm-hmm. you know billion dollar this that you know everything is just all over the place and and just yeah. like everything cgi yeah, and even, not like that at all yeah and even then some of marvel's cgi isn't up to snuff <laughs> with you. not not lately <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but th- this one, uh, the Comanche Nation, um, I-, I liked it. I thought, uh, what, how did you rate it as far as, a, as far as the original Predator? Or I guess, what's your sliding scale here of like where this slots in? Or, um, or and you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Like I'll, I'll be more I, than happy. I will. To my <laughs> I, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll be controversial. I like this one best. Really. Wow, yeah. I've heard that too. Um, I have. I have. That is something I have well, heard. Um, well, not a um, lot, but. It, it's and out let, there, yeah. And let me qualify it. Um, I when I saw Predator was back a, a couple months ago when we saw right. saw it together. That was my first viewing of it. Um, that and Predator Two. So I don't have right. the I don't have that history of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm I'm judging eyes. them. Yeah, fresh eyes. They're all on an equal footing. Uh, right. So yeah, I I just um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe uh maybe it's just me but yeah uh, well you said uh, a few other people have stated it but i, I just yeah, uh, like yeah. the, the the story uh was a little bit more involved for me the um the predator story was uh, in the in the original predator was good but it's pretty straightforward that it kind of went <laughs> along the sort of the the path that you would think it would um there was no real deviation or surprises uh, it was enjoyable as an action movie and uh, kind of went with the way it should. But this one, um, in the same way with the Predator 2, it was a little bit more quirky. Uh, but but this one uh, told a similar story to the original Predator uh, with right. a little hints hints and nods to the original. Uh, but, it, but it had a little bit more of a... The, I think the, the, the first first uh third of the movie was kind of uh kind of slow and kind of predictable uh but uh that second that second act of it where all the the predator stuff takes goes up goes off uh was was phenomenal i i just loved all that action stuff and it really really hit me and uh and uh maybe it's a, a because they the as far as i guess cgi and uh, technology and whatnot maybe they could do a little bit more uh but but yeah it it, it just kind of and uh, i like the twists and turns like the uh introduction of the trackers that was uh kind of a surprise for me uh, but yeah yeah and uh that that was uh, but yeah I, I really enjoyed how they played around with the the plot a little bit 
yeah a little bit more so than than the original yeah and i think i think the thing that the folks that think it is woke i think the thing that they miss is that um in, in some ways in those circles and the woke woke go woke get, get broke whatever and in the circles of the criticism there that 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 theater of thought uh is the is the uh you know, like some group is like a political punching bag for, for lack of a better term or whatever. Um, that that just had none of and none of that. It just didn't have everything was on on uh on on scene and right on cue and it made sense and it went with the storyline. I mean, again, we're talking about a space monster that comes to Earth that murders everyone. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's a little bit more rules than that, but. This is not yep. something that's going to win an Oscar. And the original never. Um, they 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 made the original. They expected it to bomb. Um, I believe like they, there there was no hope there for it to be grow out of what it it was, and it surprised everybody. Just like Terminator and and several other kind of like one off movies that kind of just had legs and they and they kept running and they didn't stop. Um, but I, I would say that, uh, and I have seen every Predator movie from. The original Predator, all the way through the AVP ones, um, uh, and then the um, Adrian Brody Predators in 2010. Um, this one, I, I, uh, I, it's up there, I, I like as a pure Predator movie. The Aliens one, you can just chuck out, and then there are a couple of the more more modern Predator movies are like, eh, you know, they're okay. Um, you know, they're they're escapism uh, for sure. Uh, you know, you don't take them too seriously, but this one, I think, uh, anyway, roundabout way of saying, I think this one like hit 60 to 70 percent of the original, um, as far as it goes for me. Um, I did, I do think that the um, Predators, the Adrian Brody one that I mentioned, I think that that one just kind of edges this one out a little bit. Um, but as time goes on, uh, my fondness for this is going to grow. Um, mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, there's, I, but I love Predator too. Um, that's probably my favorite Predator movie, and I, I am in the minority for that opinion, and that's okay. Um, but um, Predator, the original Predator, you can't beat. Um, and this one, you can't beat either. Um, in that vein, I mean, it, it's a space monster killing people. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you can't. What, what? I mean, we're, we're not right. You know, and at one, we're, at one point, she takes her hatchet and uh, attaches a rope to it and makes a cut. A sling, <laughs> kind of a sling uh, tomahawk thing, but uh, yeah, which uh, in practicality that would probably come back and stick in her forehead or something. But <laughs> but it, I, again, again, that that sort of added to the comic book element to it right, for me as well. Right. right. You 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 have a very richly detailed. Um, yeah, I just, hope, uh, I just hope. I just hope. He doesn't see that and try to emulate it or do a TikTok with, uh, with their own uh, oh, hatchet come on, and hatchet and rope. I, 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 I know you were a kid just like me, and I know that you you uh, mm -hmm. you for the outside generation a little bit. Um, and I know you, but like when me and my friends or my whatever, we were a little bit older to do this. Uh, probably un not with adult supervision, but we would go get knives or steak knives or sneak mm -hmm. Rome against you know you do that whole thing. I'm sure you did that uh, too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, I just hope they don't attach a rope to it and uh, try to <laughs> do a sling on it. <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly how physics work. Uh, but You're uh, right. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it made sense. There was no, um, there was no, there was genuine buildup, and which is uh, th is a valid criticism. Um, an indictment on more modern movies, like where they don't, mm -hmm. they just kind well, of dump you in this, yeah. like everything's perfectly made mm -hmm. and they just go on and they do their yeah. thing. And then it's just like, Oh, whatever. And then, yeah, it, none of that, none of that, none of that. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the movie was smart and where it counts, what? like uh, with the anticipation, like there's a scene where uh, she kind of falls into this. Um, uh, Bog uh, thing, yeah, uh, bog thing. thing, yeah, yeah. She gets covered in mud, and, and then kind of right. a call back to the classic scene of the, the original predator. And you had the anticipation, oh well, uh, the predator's going to show up and, and not see her, and that's not right. the case. And next next scene, mm -hmm. she's clean, uh, she's got it cleaned off. So, uh, but it, that bog pl to, uh, plays a pivotal role later on in it. So, but yeah, it's, it um it, it plays with your expectations and. Uh, 
kind of kind of does some twists and turns that that's not expected in your it, ever action movie and that, that's what i really appreciated in this movie yeah it, it had excellent sleight of hand um th- yes there there were there were plot things that you could pick out that would be relevant later on but you didn't quite nail it on like how how they how you thought it would be at least like because mm-hmm. i was like okay i know this book <clears throat> This is obviously important. Either it's an Easter, it's a, it's a, it's a thank you or you know, a red meat to the fans, uh, for the original paying homage to you know original Predator, or it's something along the lines. But and how it comes into play is, um, again, it's just very good sleight of hand, um, and it does all mm-hmm. those. It, you, you said it, uh, uh pretty well, uh, there. Like it, it's smart in the right ways, and all the, in all the successful ways that it can be. And, and it works. Um, I've no, yeah, I've no yeah, hate for this. I, I don't understand. I mean, I kind of understand like where they're, but they're, but they're reaching for straws because everything, and it, even like when you thin it, you thin it down, and you really try to dice it down to like that. Well, it's a female, and da 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 da. It doesn't work. Uh, that doesn't work at all. It doesn't hold a, yep. doesn't hold water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the, the, um, I guess the only. Th- there's a there's a couple of things that i would uh would have changed but like that uh the the last act um it was more actiony than i i thought that it it didn't have to be that maybe she could have uh used her um she she's um kind of uses her head uh more so than the other tribe members so i I'd, I'd wanted a little more of uh of that uh, where it was more more action action based um but but you know i think uh i think the the majority of the audience uh would would prefer how how it ended uh so yeah. uh, i don't I, have I, a problem yeah too much of a problem i i think that they did that right though because they did it because um and even even arnold okay um even arnold in the original and even danny glover nobody ever went toe to toe with the predator and traded blows like that you know like no they didn't right. do that that's not the premise of the thing so um, you know, you didn't have this ridiculously overpowered, whatever, like just slugging it out with it. They did it in the spirit. They, they, they violated no, uh, none of the ground rules or the, or the canon, um, mm-hmm. for Predator and how they did the movie. Like they, they did it perfectly executed for what it was. And it's probably going to be one of my more favorite movies of the year. I will say that. I think it's one mm-hmm. of the better movies of 2022. I don't know if that says anything on the lack of <laughs> or whatever of movies, but um, aside from Top Gun and Minions, I, I haven't watched too many modern ones in the theater um, this year. But um, this one, this one, I'm going to remember. I'm going to stand out, and it's going to become part of the, the the you know the pantheon of movies that I like to watch periodically. And I think it'll age well um, for that. But yeah, no. Anyway, we 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 sunk a lot of time in this. We say we weren't going to do. That, but, uh, <laughs> or, or actually we didn't say anything or we would or wouldn't do anyway rolling on from this one um yeah this is a big we give it one. give a thumbs up yep um absolutely yeah strong yep. recommend mm-hmm. uh, uh what do you want to go to next my friend um this is a grab bag just grab something out of yeah, it. <laughs> lord of the rings what's going on with this uh yeah I, this is just a little thing that i was gonna throw out there um uh, which doesn't I don't think it uh, bodes well for the new uh, Lord of the Rings show, but evidently they uh, reached out to Peter Jackson originally saying, hey, would you like to be involved? And Peter Jackson said, uh, well, I can't really commit until I see some scripts. And they go, oh, okay, cool, cool. We'll, we'll get you some scripts. And uh, that was the last he heard from them. And they didn't. <laughs> yeah, they, they ghosted yeah, okay. him. They, they ghosted <laughs> him. And uh he, from the interview they gave, he, he he had no ill will towards them. He said, "Hey, you know, whatever." Uh, they decided to go a different way. He goes, uh, "But uh, but yeah," he said he'd watch it and see how it goes. But uh, but yeah, um, the fact that they they ghosted him and they got rid of the uh, Tolkien expert, the original yeah. Tolkien expert on the on the show, it doesn't uh, <clears throat> doesn't really <laughs> uh, do, doesn't give me good vibes for the for the show. Um, yeah, now, the, the, now, Amazon kind of did come back and say, "Well, you know, uh, we thought maybe there would be some, uh, you know, legal issues with having him come on since you know he, he had the 
he was with the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, and um, that was with a different company, and blah blah blah. But I think it could have worked yeah, that whatever. out. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, uh, and they could have at least told him that they were going in a different direction instead of left leaving him hanging. <laughs> yeah, th- this is the one I-, I have seen a lot of. Um, there's a there's a, there was a lot of Jimmys that got wrestled <laughs> mm-hmm. with this one, and they continue. I don't know. He, he, not getting into the, po- the politics or the or the, the, the this or that of it, but I will say there is more than enough evidence here that there is gonna be. It's either gonna be the greatest thing ever, or 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 of recent memory. It's either gonna go one of two ways. It's either gonna go that way, and it's gonna be amazing and spectacular, um, or it's gonna fall flat on its face. There is no in between for this thing. I don't see uh, for sure. Yeah. Um, and I think that there's enough, like, it's kind of like there's enough stink around it that mm-hmm. there's just, you know, yeah, could be stink yeah. in a good way, could be stink <laughs> in a bad way. We're not quite yeah. sure yet, but we, oh, I, oh. I'm, you, like, and, and I'll be honest with you, I have, um, I've been watching a lot of Nerd Roddick, uh, and his coverage of this and that, um, lately, uh, and, and, um, I, I tend to, I don't agree with them on a lot because they're too much. For one thing, they're trying to get eyeballs and they're trying to make money off of controversy. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But you just have to be careful with that and kind of put a firewall up a little bit to kind of separate yourself because they go in they go in too hard on the on the political pop culture thing or whatever, um, which is fine. Uh, but that's not what we do. And that's not what I want to see all the time. Like, I don't yeah. want to be constantly outraged. Like, don't get me wrong. I like to get my blood pressure up just like every other nobody out there but um <laughs> I, I i i'll see it i, I don't I, of course i'll see it um but i just don't mm. i'm worried i'm worried uh and i'm not even a tolkien fantasy guy um but i can tell like mm-hmm. there's a hardcore bunch of folks out there that are uh that are uh on the fandom that love uh, uh tolkien and um that, that they're they're a lot that there's valid points they bring up so there's trouble in paradise, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, with this. yeah. And uh, also, um, just to give a kind of an unbiased uh, slant on it, the uh, the guys at Mega64, I, I uh, watched them, I think I recommended them a few months back, but uh, they said they go to a bunch of conventions and they're in San Diego and they went to the San Diego Comic-Con we covered a, a week or two back. But, uh, but they said the on their podcast, they were talking about how um any of the uh during the convention any of the shows or movies that they promote really big at the convention and have plastered everywhere with posters all over the convention on the outside on the inside uh historically historically any of them that get plastered like that are complete flops (laughs) and then uh this this year was lord of the rings uh new movie or show power Every, of the Ring. So, everywhere yeah. everywhere yeah. like that's what i heard too um yeah. on the ground there like from um from the folks that like would tweet every day or whatever like they kind of whatever but mm-hmm. but yeah i was gonna say that reminded me of of uh like yeah and, and that kind of goes back like and i think that like um amazon is pushing a lot of money behind this whether it's good or bad i'm not saying whatever half, they are uh, half a billion dollars <laughs> yeah they, they are and then that's not even kind of the marketing that, that they're doing you know like that or maybe that is entitled but in, anyway they're pushing a lot of they are they're pushing mm-hmm. a, a, a a lot of promotion for this uh so um i i just would make the observation that like at san diego comic-con okay look um, it, it just seems like there's a lot of tokenism going on. Um, mm-hmm. Even down to their panel, they had they had Stephen Colbert, uh, and uh, mm-hmm. maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, and I don't follow San Diego Comic Con religiously at all. Like I only kind of catch the highlights, kind of like the same way like where E3 was a thing, and you hear about a game and it became mm-hmm. popular and people were talking about it. Then you kind of dip into it, but like. I don't recall Stephen Colbert ever being a regular fixture in that world, um, uh, yeah. seeing a Comic Con and like a panel. So that tells me that, and there's nothing wrong with that. The man, the man got a paycheck. Um, but well, I, I, I know, I know he's a, I know he's a big fan of Lord of the Rings. So 
that that yeah. maybe his his uh, outside <laughs> and I'm sure, yeah and i'm sure he is and i'm sure he is mm-hmm. you know but um you know it, it's 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 not a more well-known you know thing mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> and it is what it is but like uh, right. and, and he's always a good funny host or whatever but like uh uh, and some of those panels can probably be a little bit dry and boring, maybe. I don't know if you have the wrong personality. So good on mm-hmm. them, I guess, for keeping getting the right personalities around it. But yeah, th- there's a lot. There's a lot. I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have a lot more. Um, I'm going to put a lot more of my eggs in the basket of the House of Dragons because um, I, I, I hear small little sparks that it could be something good. Um yeah, not the best ever, but like it, it could be decent, um, and we'll see. But um, yeah, and uh, we'll see how many. Uh, you know, I think a lot of the Game of Thrones fans felt burned on the ending of the Game of Thrones. So yeah, we'll see how many people return back for for this venture and see if there's a redemption arc uh, for the whole franchise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, and anyway, moving on, uh, not much. Like, yep, we'll, we'll, yep. We'll, we'll see with 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 bated breath to see if it sucks or if it's good or whatever. Of course, you mm-hmm. don't know. Nobody knows nothing until you actually see it. But we'll see. We'll see. Mm-hmm. All right, going down the line, we have uh, Mr. Stallone was not happy. <laughs> no, he was not. He's uh, since deleted his uh, Twitter post on this, but uh, yeah, there. Uh, he doesn't own uh, the Rocky franchise and he was uh, upset with the uh, franchise owners in that they uh, are going to do a Drago spinoff and uh, Stallone was not happy. He called them blood suckers and <laughs> all sorts of things. Um, oh, wow. And, uh, and uh, yeah, he Spicy. was, yeah, he was not, not, not happy, which um, I guess probably uh kind of echoes the thoughts of some fans on their favorite franchise and that a lot of a uh, lot of us are getting all these uh spin-off fatigue and so i i guess he's uh he's human and is feeling feeling the same way yeah he uh speaking of him i was gonna say i was gonna throw this in there um he has a new movie coming out on prime yeah, yeah, the superhero movie. Oh, and I actually, I don't know, have you seen the trailer for that one? Uh, yes, I, I watched a little bit of it. It was a little long trailer, and I, I started watching it. I thought, well, I might watch that, so I did. I'm one of those that, um, if I'm going to watch something, I don't, I don't usually watch the trailer because the, the trailers tend to spoil too much, uh, for my taste. But uh, but yeah, it looked kind of interesting. So uh, yeah, I thought I, 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 I yeah. I, I, knew nothing about this and i saw the trailer and it actually called my interest i was like i'll see that i'll watch that but yeah interesting yeah the, yeah. the trick who knows man. Uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> mm-hmm. but he definitely felt one thing some kind of way about it didn't he yeah yeah he wasn't wasn't happy <laughs> uh but i think uh he's since talked to uh Dolph lundgren and they've kind of <laughs> sewed up exchange yeah kind of kind of uh, patch sure things how. up yeah like i said he he, uh, he ended up deleting the post so uh maybe he was just feeling uh a little <laughs> a little fiery at that that particular moment in time <laughs> for sure for sure yeah uh cool cool uh anything else uh to say uh for yeah. that one no uh and then uh just a quick note uh one of my favorite cartoons on adult whim metalocalypse uh their uh movie they're still working on the movie and uh it'll be out in uh 2023 um and i'm uh anticipating this uh brandon smalls uh doing that he's the original uh guy for that so uh but yeah yeah it's uh it's still in the works and uh yeah uh, all you metal heads get get ready uh (laughs) i'm sure there'll be a album that comes out to correspond with it which is always a good news uh that's one of the things uh you know usually with a a cartoon or a, a show uh that's based off of a, a, mu- a makeup music band a lot of times the music is is what it is maybe not the the best in the world but uh the brandon smalls always comes out with a really killer uh, album uh for each awesome. of the uh, the seasons of the show so um, and since they they've had uh, 
several year break between uh, this and the last season. Uh, I'm hoping for a, a real killer album. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with this at all. I'll have to check it out. Mm-hmm. We'll have to, on the back end, have to tell me like what to watch or like what to catch up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. there's a there's a scene in it where there's a uh, there's someone's birthday and uh, one of the members uh, told him that he got him the most brutal present ever. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of the each of the members are kind of uh, reminiscent of uh, kind of a classic uh, metal uh, guy, like the uh, guy with the dreadlocks, always reminded me of Axl Rose. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, the the it's um, characters are uh, unique and uh, interesting. But yeah, if uh, if you have, then like uh, with uh, all things Adult Swim, um, all the cartoons are pretty short. So um, indeed. And, uh, and, yeah, and my my favorite musician <laughs> of all times, uh, Mike Patton. He was in all of the episodes as well, so cool. that uh, endears cool. me to it. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Rolling down the line, we got uh, we we had a big big announcements earlier uh, with with, <laughs> with and uh, a few big movies that were already produced and ready to go. And I, I background on this too from some of the coverage like uh how did you take this like because uh, there's it seems like there was it's kind of plays into the the woke anti kind of thing a little bit um and, mm-hmm. and, and, and more importantly uh what just how bad something is um and and they the uh zaslav uh yeah david mm-hmm. uh zaslav uh the ceo the new ceo of this combined omnicorp so as it were uh mm-hmm. they, they put out press release it Batgirl is done so they, they can't work. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Like you said, the, they're the whole uh, <laughs> woke, anti woke uh, kind of sentiment kind of kind of mixed in with it. I don't know if um, David Le- Zasloff is getting uh, that much involved in that that end of things. I don't think he's got his. I don't think so. I, that, I, uh, he's a do- he's the ultimate uh, dollars and cents guy, and he says we're doing this or we're not doing that. Um, you yeah, know, um, yeah, and and he's he's looking over at Marvel uh, and what they did in their their ten year plan, and he's seeing a slump in Marvel, a, a decline in Marvel stuff. So he's uh, he wants to kind of strike while the iron's hot, and he wants to uh-huh. regroup. And, and this is speculation. This is uh, I, I don't have any ins- insight into our knowledge of what Same. David is planning. But uh, from what I hear, he wants to do a do his own kind of ten year plan with his DC um, DC comic books characters, and he wants uh, to get a guy sort of like Kevin Feige and plan out have a plan out for the the movies and with uh the rumor uh that uh, uh over on overlord dvd uh site the doomcock he uh mentioned uh one of his his rumors that he heard was that in batgirl uh they kill off superman and then in uh, the superwoman movie that's been canceled they're gonna they were planning on killing off Batman. Oh, uh, I, so, heard, I heard that. I heard that. And then, and then the yeah. newer female versions would take over their primary. Yeah. And roll yeah. on into like the, like yeah. they would essentially like jumpstart, like where Marvel is heading, like where it's predominantly mm-hmm. female um, mm-hmm. superheroes. Um, but skip all the, uh, mm-hmm. we'll skip all that wonderful buildup that we got to that point with Marvel until it fell off <laughs> or seemingly <laughs> is falling off or oversaturation, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not yeah. People, yeah. Yeah. No, my, my uh, sister and her family, my older sister and her family, which Claudia, um, shout out to her because uh, she helped us out on last week's uh, main show. Uh, but yeah, she, she was, she was here uh, with her nephew and uh, her nephews uh, all into those, those movies. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he was, he talked about his fatigue with Marvel and he hasn't, wasn't really, really happy with what's what's going on and he wasn't impressed with the doctor strange uh too and uh he he hadn't even seen the new thor movie and didn't express any interest in seeing it so so yeah uh your 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 fans aren't aren't uh aren't excited anymore uh marvel uh but yeah so 
uh yeah and so zasloff see, sees all of this and he's like why are we why are we killing the our known properties and and trying to create uh, spin up these these characters that uh haven't been proven to be a uh, big right. money ma- money makers exactly. let's let's kill batgirl because that's gonna uh damage our our uh, brand let's let's uh kill everything and build back up our core superheroes are superman superman batman wonder woman right. uh green uh, he also uh nixed a uh, green lantern tv series that was coming out on hbo max uh which the you know the uh the the green lantern that we all know and love how jordan wasn't even going to be in that series it was going to be jessica cruz i think was going to be the main star and the I think uh, Gardner, um, I Gardner was going to be one of them. And then um, the Golden Age of uh, Golden Age Green Lantern uh, that was uh, was also going to be in it, which um, in the comic books, they had retconned him to be gay um, so that they were promoting it as having a, you know, a gay uh, Green Lantern in the series, which I don't know. <laughs> we need, like Zaslav said, we need to get back to the core characters, which would be Hal Jordan. Uh, so right. I see why they he went ahead right. and killed killed that. Uh, but the um, and then uh, there's rumors that he's also is going to put the axe on a lot of the um, uh, HBO Max uh, DC shows like Harley Quinn, uh, mm-hmm. Doom and titans which i i loved i i really enjoyed uh Detroit and i enjoyed titans but uh like with doom patrol they've had three seasons that's such a weird and quirky show that uh, i'm just happy that we got three seasons of it and uh you know i'm i'm happy i'm not going to be disappointed if there's not any more to that series and then with titans i'm a little bit more kind of wishing that it, that we had a little bit more for that but, more, more but you know if more. if he wants to um reassemble and and again i don't think it's all about uh killing the the woke products because no, uh, no. i also i also heard that uh, he was upset with uh with cry macho the um Clint East movie he was like what's with this movie why why, why did we win this why did it lose so much money and they were like, well, you know, we owe it to Clint Eastwood. He's been with us for, you know, 50 plus years. And he goes, I don't care. He's not making us money. So, <laughs> <laughs> so get him out of there. So, no. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I, like, I don't, like I said, it's all about dollars and cents with him. Yeah, I, I don't. And I, I have no doubt that, that the uh, a, a, a portion of the culture wars entered into this a little bit. I, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't deny that to a certain degree, but at the end of the day, the thing is, is that these studios, these companies, um, and what I had heard was, uh, and I'm not going to dispute that the woke thing or whatever. I think that's just like, uh, whatever. I, I don't know what that is, but I, I, I don't doubt that there's some kernel of truth to that, but that's not the reason. Um, it's because, mm-hmm. Um, it was, it, it came in and it screened so bad that they were, they, they would have lost even more money on it. And the thing is, uh, mm-hmm. I watched a, a kind of a breakdown of it. It was about like, if they use it, um, if they don't, they, there's a certain window of time that they have that they can write off a, a, on their taxes, uh, like for writing it off to get some kind of value from it or recoup something from it, so to speak. Um, and if they, if they choose to release it, they forfeit that ability to write it off for those tax credits or whatever for for the mm-hmm. financial back because you <laughs> this is one movie of like thousands you know at the end of the day nobody's going to bat for this like it, it's mm-hmm. not that um and from what i heard it was terrible maybe it was terrible i don't know i'm glad that we don't have to see it especially if it's true that doomcock or those rumors are true that they mm-hmm. would that they, they would have done that that would have been mm-hmm that would have like already taken a property that was already already kind of like eh you know like where you had Mm -hmm. occasional like you had the first wonder woman movie was good um you had chris pines in that you had good engagement superman didn't quite wasn't quite the blockbuster that they wanted to be but it was good enough Mm -hmm. um you know and then you had your batman and your avengers and or not avengers the um league 
Justice League, Justice League um, yeah. which were okay, you know, um, they weren't they weren't there, but they weren't full strength either. Like what they could have been, or what that what what they have great property, and then Marvel's on the ropes. Um, it seems, you know, and they want to come back strong. So I I applaud that. Like I don't have any problem, and I think it's it's like a known thing that um, yeah. we're 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 both fans of HBO max anyway or hbo go whatever the hell it's right. called yeah um yeah. it's just consistently good stuff that i can find on there um mm-hmm. for yeah me, and, you know. and those people uh crying foul on what zasloff is doing if they if they really believe that this is the wrong way uh, uh to go it should fail so so they should be anticipating failure but uh to be honest um i to go back to those core characters if it's done right uh and if they uh they there's this hole that marvel has left with uh their with their ineptitude uh for the for the what they're in currently if they can build up their brand and uh do a 10-year plan that that works then um the, they've they've got some gold on their hands but you know uh only time will tell and uh you know there's no guarantee what he's doing is going to uh, bell out the uh the dc universe so we'll just we'll just have to uh, to wait and see and then uh we, we all benefit if uh if uh, great great stories and great characters come out of it um and, yeah. and that's 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 the the center of it i think he's uh trying to cut off all the stuff that that won't sell that won't make them a profit and right. uh, and unfortunately um that's that was that was uh, obviously he thought batgirl was was in that category i i know uh kevin smith has been out in social media outcrying it saying it's a a, a travesty that uh, they they killed uh the batgirl movie since it had a a, a latina woman in it <laughs> and uh, whatever uh, they should have yeah, released it even even if it was going to be a bum <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but that's but not what they but he do could, at all. But but he could say say that. But um, uh, we're you know he he has no uh, money invested in this. I mean, <laughs> you could uh you know shout all you want on the the sidelines, but uh, and then uh, I, I I got a kick out of uh, some of the uh, the Twitter people outcrying all of this change. Um, I guess uh, I saw some of that. Uh, yeah, saying that uh, Zasloff is a sexist or whatnot. There's a one of them stood out. Uh, the lady was saying, um, you know, I do I do I have to have my account on uh, HBO Max in my husband's name or or could I even have it in my name? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, you handmade tell Melody Queen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that, that's it's kind of the same thing um like where you have the kevin smith i'll tell you one thing um sometimes sometimes when celebrities get too involved or they open their mouth they're they're trapped too long and this is true of every celebrity ever known and i'm so i'm just to be fair it, they can all get it but uh kevin smith is like one of those dudes like where after a while you kind of wish you didn't hear him talk at length on on certain topics and like it's kind of like howie mandel if you watch howie mandel in a political kind of like interview podcast type situation like you're like you know what i think i like howie the host better than i than i like like watching him just kind of free wheel and whatever because he's, he's just like there's just this i don't know th- th- this is where the woke thing is true like where they go to bat for something that they don't know anything about and they're just riding the wave of opinion or whatever i don't know whatever or whatever and, and that's fine yeah. they can do that that more part to them but like it's just like yeah <laughs> no. yeah <laughs> and I, I've, I've, <laughs> yeah and i found even early on um back in, back in my 20s even uh the more more i, I learned about uh, an author or an actor or whatnot uh, sometimes the less I liked them, and it's like I, I wish right. I didn't uh, didn't know that uh, um, the, uh, uh, about them in their personal uh, personal opinion and personality. Uh, whereas if you know if you just leave it to what what you see on the screen or on the page, right. that's that's the better uh, because uh, a lot of times with the writers, 
Um, they're they're they could become a bit of a narcissist just because they're uh, in the room writing writing their their books all day. So they they're they're constantly in their head. So they have to. Well, uh, well and, and and to be devil's advocate to kind of punch them up a little bit in, in a good way. Uh, you know, they they are literally one. They're working their dream job. Two, they are literally the voice of Superman or Batman or Wolverine or whatever. So that kind of does go to your head. And, you know, of course it would, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. but after a while, it's just like, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe I should put the mute button on you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. not interested in, in hearing yeah. your. But, and, and yeah, that's that's kind of like where they're they're just personalities that are entertaining when they talk. And there are other personalities that are not entertaining when they talk um, and not even related to being an entertainer or whatever. It's just like you, 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 you kind of pop, pop the hood on it and it's just like, I'm going to close the hood real quick and just pretend mm -hmm. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, I think uh, uh, others have said it better than me, but close the Twitter and touch some grass sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, 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 I want the best for, Warner Brothers and their future, even though they're um, very uh, jerkish on YouTube, but that's beyond the scope of anything. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll never forget that one, but not that anybody gives two craps. But in any case, aside from that, all joking and kidding aside, I, I, I agree. I just want good storylines, and we could be uh, we we could have a gold mine here uh, for good solid um, movies that are not Marvel um you know mm -hmm. and and yeah. we can we because and the, the other thing is is that if one thing is true superman is timeless and so is batman those are both mm -hmm. timeless characters and even my brother-in-law who is not into american comics even he likes batman or has appreciation for him that that mm -hmm. that that gets filled up pretty quick mm -hmm. because there's only so much batman that you can read mm -hmm. you know unless yep. you're just like yep. a super fan and, and you're some rich uh, yep. D bag in California who uh, buys the who yep. bought the did you catch that that story where they he bought the uh, um, original 1960 something Batmobile and he didn't make the payment uh, or whatever and and it came in and and he had he was buddy buddies with the sheriff and totally used the system again anyway it's it's a whole it's, crazy thing but like yeah, yeah, yeah. unless you're somebody yeah. like that you know <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, last week at the comic book shop. Uh, I was talking to the guy that that's uh was running the place and he uh he he, he made a comment yeah he goes oh well, yeah you, know, you get your mar fan in there he says you know i just read well but batman's good <laughs> <laughs> you know uh batman always gets gets a pass so yeah it's he's one of those characters that um sort of uh universally loved so oh yeah oh yeah 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 you you can never go wrong and like so I said, if you're it's, 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 and and people always want to reinvent the wheel, but you know sometimes the wheel is the best thing. <laughs> right. Yep. It goes. It, it don't make a square wheel. Um, <laughs> yeah, and moving on. Yep. This kind of ties into what what we talked at the top. Yep. Yep. Um, Just, Predator, uh, and and this echoes what you were saying. Um, and I've heard that before. I haven't. Uh, um, it's definitely a valid opinion that folks out there really loved it. Um, and you know that's awesome. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, and the the detractors are a little funny. Um, shout out to Letter Media. They um, uh, they did a review of uh, Prey as well, and um, uh, but of course our review was much better. But anyway, uh, they uh, uh, Mike he went through and read some of the uh, detracting comments on oh, yeah, uh, Rotten, that, yeah. Rotten, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, and those okay. uh, the the people that uh, were detracting it uh, have a very bad spelling or, or a word phrasing, and uh, um, maybe maybe aren't playing with the full deck. So <laughs> probably not. Probably not. They're they're not the <laughs> um, they're not the classical uh, Siskel and Ebert uh, of anything. <laughs> not <laughs> right. Yet. Not even of farts, because maybe they're the, <laughs> yeah. based on the intelligence. Uh, they they might be better off uh, re yeah. reviewing farts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're not Siskel and Ebert, and they're not Beavis and Butthead. They're uh, something <laughs> a little, little lower than that. <laughs> it's true, very true. Uh, yeah, it is yep. more Beavis and Butthead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, I think uh, that's okay. cool, uh, cool. it for that. Yep, yep. 
Uh, yeah, uh, new web. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, I saw this when you you sent it to me. Like they're they're just they're dropping the comics and they're just going with DC.com, which is cool. Like that's always good. Yeah, and uh, a lot of the uh, uh, the regular YouTubers that decry everything were uh, being an alarmist, saying that this may mean that they're dropping uh, DC Comics altogether. Uh, which no. I don't think is the case. Uh, now, um, Ethan, Van, Ethan Van Skyver put across a, a, an interesting idea where he thought maybe uh, they would uh, take DC Comics and not not produce them themselves, but hand it over to someone like uh, Todd McFarlane and have Todd McFarlane take over the comic books and uh, get you know get together the writers and artists uh through through his comic book company and uh do it as a uh, you know kind of farm it out to him uh which which uh doesn't sound like a bad idea uh todd mcfarlane uh and the 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 tie to that would be uh they they're they're in are doing the spawn batman crossover at the end of the year uh so that may be sort of them uh being in talks with todd uh, kind of test the waters but who knows uh, that's all speculation uh, but yeah I, I don't think that they may obviously I think Zaslav will uh, if they do keep it within with in-house uh, he will take a, a hatchet to it uh, like uh, the lady in Prey and uh, cut it down to um, really uh, there's there's like a, a, how many titles uh, 050 titles that come out a month for DC Comics I can see him slashing that down to a, a nice maybe 10 or 15 uh, that have, you know, solid writers and artists and do solid comic books for the, for those. Um, I can see that. That, that would be a good idea. That really is not a bad idea. One to kill everything off and then to just farm it out to like a known, um, a known shop that can do it and let them mm -hmm. go. Um, you know, as long as they're not like doing something weirdo or like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. so like, off Superman or something right. stupid, like, like where it's just felicity, like uh, that's probably a more, it's better to go with a more competent shop and just fire everyone and then start over. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. And, that's, and, um, that's why I think, uh, it, the Todd McFarlane suggestion is a great idea because he, um, just a, a couple of years ago, uh, he was just releasing spawn and then he decided, uh, to get in on the whole uh, universe thing and started the Spawn universe and has like four different titles like Gunslinger, Scorched, uh, King Spawn, and Spawn and uh, oh. really kind of increase the enthusiasm for Spawn and uh, those are those four comics are uh, top sellers uh, in the comic book shops now so uh, he, he knows how to kind of generate enthusiasm for things so uh, yeah, he would he would be a great great choice, um, but we'll I agree. see. I, I wish that I, I hope that's the case, but we'll see. Either way, um, it's never a bad thing to hit the reset button and clear mm -hmm. out the clear out the yeah. debris. Yeah, but, and, and yeah, and uh, I hope uh, the DC Comics uh, people uh, aren't aren't thinking that Zaslov's just going to overlook them. I think. <laughs> His his uh his eye of Sar Sauron's gonna focus in on them at one point and <laughs> right. uh, kind of uh, it will uh, I I have no doubt will clean house. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, it's a good thing. Um, it's always a good thing when they hit the brakes and and of course this is all the, the backdrop of all this, um, which will echo on in the in the coming months is like we're in recession, and it is what it is. Um, and companies mm -hmm. are responding that way. So re, 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 yep. without regard to anything else. This is the that 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 is the natural point when the economy is like not doing so great or whatever, you know. Like their companies are like, nope, got news for you, we can't do this. Like anything else, like um, it's it's uh, like a uh, uh, ripples in a in a pond. Um, it it has knock on effects for this. So it's all good. Anyway, moving on to the next uh, the next piece of uh, oh. news. Oh, we already covered that oh. one. Oh, Last we did. Week. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, the, yep, that's right. Uh, and I th mm -hmm. then then we also yep. That's and right. I, so I think I uh, yep, 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 yep. Cool, cool. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, and to tag on, I think uh, that Penguin series that got a, uh, I think that's going to get the X as well uh, from Zaslav, uh, from what I hear. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Well, well, uh, we we hardly knew ye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We never knew ye. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, uh, was this the, do you want to, uh, the mega 64 one? Cause we kind of touched base on this one, uh, before we go into the f uh, final recommends. Yeah. I thought we could, uh, kind of watch this, uh, but, uh, but yeah, they, uh, uh, like, uh, with the past couple of years, everything's been on shutdown. Uh, so convention has been closed. Uh, they have <laughs> a reoccurring series, uh, which this is the, the, the return of it uh <laughs> with the 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 link is back uh but uh but it's uh their cosplayers series uh where they uh gather together all their interesting cosplay that they've seen at the convention and they uh put a little uh, description maybe kind of uh uh not not quite so accurate but uh, a little bit funny uh but yeah i thought the guys wouldn't mind us showing this and maybe commenting as we uh as we watch it um but yeah you got sort of a dune vibe going there okay they've, uh, they've kind of stepped up the uh the production value on this <laughs> i okay i i think i have seen this um i don't know where oh, yeah? uh i think i i think i i started watching it and i didn't know what the hell it was and i flipped off uh it, I watched three quarters of it. And I was like, "What? Am, what am I watching?" And then I, my brain got I went elsewhere, and I didn't finish the thing. So okay, but yeah, cool. the, yeah, they're they're kind of doing a uh, um, sort of thing where they're they're misleading you. Uh, you're thinking it's uh, some space <laughs> space odyssey, uh, but then uh, the <laughs> green goblin appears and. Uh, it's the cosplayers <laughs> are back. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they, yeah. Did it, so they did a good job on that. Yeah, and that's uh that's Rocco uh, Rocco Bodhi. He's uh, one of the Mega sixty four guys. And uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, tortilla. <laughs> That's one of the other guys. That's uh that's Garrett from uh, Mega Sixty Four. I think most of this footage is from uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con. Although Very I think cool. they 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 also went to the Anime uh, Comic Con so in Los Angeles. Uh, but you can see they uh, <laughs> rescue nine one one. And uh, that's uh, uh, Ryan. That's uh, one of their friends. Um, but yeah, the <laughs> but yeah, oh, it kind of kind of shows you uh, the fun that can be had at uh, at the conventions. And they they try to do uh, kind of fun things uh, uh, at their they 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 have a booth there where they sell their t shirts and whatnot. And uh, they uh, they uh, for a long time there uh, they would have a. Uh, kind of a karaoke machine where they would uh um where things would kind of get boring at the convention they'd break out into songs so um <laughs> that's awesome yeah the heath ledger <laughs> uh in the oh, one of their recent podcasts they did one at the san diego con uh, san diego comic con and uh that was um uh, that one was kind of uh, to watch uh, the reactions with the audience, they got to know one of the young girls at the convention that was trying to get a uh, Loki uh, figure from the uh, from the booth or from across from the had a like a huge line of uh, people, and, he, and they were trying to give her tips and tricks on how to how to get into the convention. And this is kind of a back to the shining. Uh, <laughs> that we saw a few months back with the, oh, yeah. the end where they, they go in on the picture and that's why uh, they put in the uh, same date as the <laughs> as it is in the uh, the Shining. That's awesome. That, that was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, they, they have a whole series of those throughout the years so if that was kind of funny to you uh, <laughs> there's, there's several others to, to go through. No, uh, that's cool. I have to, now that I know what it is, I just saw it and then I that, saw that goblin. I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> like, 
like let me see some, what the, what the next thing is like uh i didn't <laughs> didn't register what it was uh word up that's cool cool oh so um i guess you want me to go first i'll let you go last for um yeah. uh that's youtube cool. recommendations yeah this this is like a really like uh kind of like um on the on the vein of uh remembrance uh like remembering your childhood and things and like that um and i actually had to, to my brother-in-law uh justin shout out to justin uh we'll have to bring him on the show here pretty soon uh but in any case um what this guy does is like he is um he will take an original console and he will tell you about the history of it and then he'll walk through how you mod it um to make it do something extra that it couldn't never do before um in mm -hmm. Not so much that I would ever do any of these, but it's just kind of cool to like go back and like watch PlayStation 2 20 years ago and like he'll bring something back to life. Um, and it's mm -hmm. kind of straightforward. Um, some of some of the mods are like dead easy, like where it's mm -hmm. just do mm -hmm. this and do that. And some of them are a lot more involved where you're desoldering, you're delitting the <laughs> chip or this or that or whatever, or you're soldering onto the circuit board extra RAM or something or whatever. Like that's that's a skill set that I, I have woefully let uh, go. Um, mm -hmm. and it's hobbyist, if anything, not even anything today, but it, it's just kind of cool. Like you just go through and, and you can kind of like blow, uh, breathe, breathe fresh life into these things. Um, and they're far from dead. And I just think it's really cool. Um, yeah. And I fell into it, but it's just kind of cool. Like it's just a really cool walk down memory lane, you know? Yeah, that's, that's uh, cool. Yeah. I thought I was, uh, something special when i was uh, putting in my uh new hard drive and my ps4 but <laughs> it oh, seems uh, yeah. a little a little, bit, little beyond that <laughs> yeah some some of them are that that easy like there they'll be uh, like uh, this or that and like they actually have um it's a lot easier to get a hold of these things that are mods and it mod doesn't necessarily mean that you're cheating or anything like that it's just like you're enhancing right. the lifespan right. and the thing and most of these things are dead anyway um, there's yep. no servers that you can ever connect to. So you mm -hmm. are 100% relying on the modding community and the open source community and, and all that, that kind of thing. Um, you know, the, yeah. the most hardware hacky thing that I did back in the day, PS2 days were uh, 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 lag switch, magic, magic switch. Um, but those are dead easy to make, um, like where you just take a constant wire and you interrupt it. You have a momentary off, always on switch. And then you disconnect mm -hmm. it somewhere along the cable, the Ethernet cable, and then you hit the button, and then it 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 lags you out. So then all of a sudden you can kind of skip around. Like I don't think you mm -hmm. can do that anymore nowadays. But anyway, yeah. um, you, you can. And if you want to get fancy, you can put a chip in between, and it'll do that. But at it, it, a uh, infinite rate, that's faster than you could ever do with your with your you know finger. A little bit more accurate. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But I'm I'm getting yeah. into the. <laughs> the nerd the, the nerd them too much but anyway uh with that oh uh sorry i didn't i didn't do that uh i didn't do the about page like i should have macho nacho productions he just does this retro thing review modding um just really cool you want to take a trip down memory lane it's just a really cool uh in-depth thing i uh, think can get dry and boring after a while he he definitely follows a template and that's okay uh but the, hats off to this guy he knows his stuff backwards and forwards mm -hmm. for sure uh anyway uh so this is your your pick of the week yeah uh i think you pronounce her name izzy uh oh. but uh, is easy or is that, i don't know <laughs> and anyway she's uh i guess she probably skews uh, well she does kind of skew a, a little younger uh but mm -hmm. she does uh, kind of dive into uh various um uh communities uh in the future uh not future but but past and current um like um uh but yeah so so she kind of kind of the deep dives i was trying to think of uh some of the ones that she did uh, she did the like um the my little pony uh community uh but yeah it's like um like uh the like one of them the evolution of tumblr girl uh basically any of those those weird sort of uh uh communities um, um okay. from the Keep the up. past and the and current uh she kind of explains them I mean, she kind of does a uh kind of a 
you know, a lot of a lot of them she's she's involved in those communities, but she kind of kind of steps back and does kind of an overview so that someone that that uh, that was in the community or, or was not in the community uh, kind of explains it in a way that that explains what was going on, what the ideas and thoughts that the people had in the community. So uh, if you ever thought, well, what, what, what was up with that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of times that a lot of times you could go to her and and she'll she'll have a, a video on it and uh, oh, she does okay. she does some creative things with her makeup <laughs> so a lot of times it's just kind of fun to see how she's uh made herself up uh but uh this cool. current week uh current week video kind of ties in with uh prey she goes over uh the history of the mary sue and she goes all the way back to where it was originally created in a star trek fanzine uh, hmm. a, a couple of ladies um, made a parody uh, and called her Mary Sue, and uh, was making fun of the uh, the character in in I guess other fan fiction where the the girl uh, of the girl that d- do no wrong. Uh, but oh. yeah, she does a she does a great job. Yeah, <laughs> but she does a, a great job of going from that fanzine uh, to the uh, current community uh, well uh, i guess a few years back when uh, mary sue became uh, uh big in the inner internet yeah, internet conscious uh sort of where those communities uh kind of latched on to the mary sue and try to make sure that their characters weren't mary sues and would mm-hmm. uh bad mouth the characters that uh, uh that people were creating that were mary sues and all the way up to where uh, the term really exploded with uh, the with uh, 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 Star what's her name? Yeah, Star Wars. Ray, Ray Skywalker. Yeah, yeah Ray Skywalker, and uh, and so yes, yeah, right. so it kind of does the whole evolution of the Mary Sue. Uh, so yeah, if you're you're not familiar with uh, what Mary Sue is, she does a fantastic job of of going through the whole thing. Ray is the bestest ever. <laughs> well, shout out to Doomcock. Uh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, no, th- this reminds me of like a web wavy surf um, like yeah. channel kind of like kind of goes back behind the scenes. But I like this because it's a little bit more wider than just like one. Typically, he'll just cover like a meme or somebody who got really famous. And they're like, what happened mm-hmm. to that person? And then it's just just like uh, that. But that's cool. I already bookmarked mm-hmm. a couple that I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing. That's cool. Good, good, uh, good recommendation. Cool, yeah. cool. Yep, yep. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, with that, I, I oh, think uh, we're I think, uh, okay. I think I have one last recommendation. Uh, yeah, I watched the uh, first episode of The Sandman on Netflix. That's right. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was kind of hesitant about that. It looked, uh, it, it could go either way as far as I could concern as far as the uh, trailer and what I'd been hearing about it uh, they they changed up quite a bit of the characters as far as, they, uh, as their appearance at least and uh, so so I kind of went in with it uh, with an open mind still and uh, I really enjoyed the first episode I, uh, I kind of held true to uh, the the comic book the whole atmosphere and look to it uh, I really enjoyed it so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I was really eager to watch uh, the next few episodes, uh, but mm-hmm. I didn't really have have time to dive into them. And then I, uh-huh. uh, uh, with my family that got together uh, the past couple of days, uh, my uh, one of my or well, actually both of my brother in laws had uh, watched a few episodes, and uh, they they both liked it. And my um, younger sister watched it, and she uh, she enjoyed it, uh, but she kind of expressed the concern uh that that i did with the and she's 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 so far away from the whole debate of woke anti-woke she wouldn't know what you're talking about if you uh, yeah. brought, up, brought up the culture war she she would have no idea uh but she was uh when she found out that uh they went with a different look for uh death um uh, it totally totally changed changed her look um she was she was asking me why did they do that i i wouldn't have like well 
um, they they went a different way. <laughs> uh, in the in the comic book, she's sort of a and and this is uh, my sister's one of my sister's favorite characters. Uh, uh, the characters in the in the comic book was a classically pale uh pale goth uh girl with onks and all all you know just sort of the whole whole look uh which in this one they went with a uh, um a black lady uh so totally changed changed look right. um mm-hmm. but uh but yeah so uh so she was kind of upset with that uh and and again totally outside and so so yeah there's some changes in the uh show that that i i wouldn't wouldn't have done uh would have changed and that but but uh but so far the story has been good uh and I'm gonna stick with it uh till okay. the end and I'll I'll give you an update to let you know what I thought but uh but yeah it's okay. it's good so Very far cool. uh awesome. and it's a, it's a, a I, I keep forgetting that it's a, a DC Warner Brothers property uh but it's on Netflix I don't, I'm not sure why I guess how how I don't know how those Hollywood deals pan out but <laughs> I don't know as as Sony they sure know how to kill off uh the ip they i'm kidding i'm kidding anyway uh, cool cool all right well the, uh, yeah i forgot about that yeah i need to catch up i need to watch or uh, read the comic book and then come back and and see the show or, or vice versa I, I always go in things backwards anyway so um yeah. cool 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 all right well this has been uh, i think we're closing up the grab bag here and this has been this week yeah. um since, and next week I think we'll be... mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. gotta throw that axe uh yeah. <laughs> i think we'll be back to our normal uh schedule next week uh we'll see um yeah. but until then um i've been mike and i'm thomas and, and we'll see you see next you. time see you in the grab bag <laughs> <laughs>